Hi everyone, welcome to Party Yoga and Party, and welcome to this Get Set Yoga journey. Today we'll be doing a deep stretching practice to open up the entire body. So once you're ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. Let us start by coming into a tabletop position with hands under the shoulders and knees below the hips. Look forward. As you inhale, extend the spine and look up and start raising the right knee up, maintaining a 90 degrees at the knee. As you exhale, curl the spine and bring the knee towards the chest. Again, inhale up. Exhale, bring the knee in. Inhale, extend up. Engaging the glute muscles. Raising the thigh as high as possible. Exhale, curl in. Two more times. Inhale, up. Extending the spine. Exhale, curl in. Last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl in. And relax and let's do it for the other side inhale extend up exhale curl in inhale up exhale curl in inhale up exhale in inhale up exhale in last time inhale up Exhale in, bring the knee down and relax. Curl the toes in, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, push the hips up to come into downward facing dog. Let's walk the dog a few times to start opening the hamstrings. Breathe into the back of the legs. Slowly start walking your hands back towards the feet to come into a forward fold. And then slowly roll up to come into a standing position. Let's come to the center of the mat for a quick warm up. Bring the feet hip distance apart. Spread the toes wide and distribute the weight evenly on all four corners of the feet. Look forward. Bring both the hands together and interlace the fingers. As you inhale, extend both the arms up and raise the heels to come into Tadasana. Stretch as high as possible, focusing on a point in front. As you exhale, bring the hands down. Interlace the fingers behind your hips. As you inhale, extend the chest up. And as you exhale, fold forward, bringing the hands away from the back, folding forward. Breathe into the stretch in your hamstrings. Inhale, come back. Let's do it a couple of more times. Inhale, extend up and stretch as high as possible, coming on your tippy toes. Exhale, come back. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, fold forward. Letting the arms fall forward away from the hips and come back last time. Inhale, extend up, opening the shoulders and come back. Inhale, extend up, exhale, fold forward and come back. Very good. Now let's come to the top of the mat 
and we'll do one round of Chandra Namaskar for warm up as well. So bring the feet together, bring the hands to heart center. Look forward as you inhale, extend both the arms up. As you exhale, bend to the left. Look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, come back. Step the left leg out to come into a wide legged stance. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come into goddess pose. Sink the hips down, keeping the spine long. Exhale, come up. Adjust the feet so that the left foot points to the left and the right foot points forward. Inhale, extend to the left. Exhale, bend sideways to come into triangle pose. Look up towards the right thumb. Inhale, come up. Adjust the feet so that the right foot is at 45 degrees. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold forward to come into pyramid pose of Parswottanasana. Keep the hips squared to the left side and keep the spine long. Again, take a deep breath in, elongate. Exhale, fold forward. Come up. Bring the right knee onto the mat to come into low lunge or Anjanayasana. Inhale, extend both the arms up. Exhale, bring them down. Turn towards the right side to come into half squat or half malasana. Take a breath in and out here and breathe into the stretch in the right hamstring. Keep the right foot flexed. Move to the center to come into malasana or the full squat. Keep pressing the knees out with the elbows. Let's move further right to come into the half squat on the other side. If you find balancing here tough, you can keep the hands on the mat. Turn towards the right. Bring the left knee on the mat. Inhale, extend both the arms up. Exhale, bring them down. Tuck the left foot in and raise the left knee to come into pyramid pose. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Square the hips towards the right side. And release. Adjust the feet. And as you inhale, extend the left arm up to come into triangle pose. Look up towards the left thumb. Inhale, come up. Bring both the arms at shoulder level. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come into goddess pose. Exhale, come up. Step the right foot in. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, center. Bring the hands down and relax. That was half set of Chandra Namaskar. We'll go back the same way. Bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, center. Step the right foot out to come into a wide-legged stance. Inhale, exhale, come into goddess pose or half squat. Take a breath in and out. Exhale, come up. Adjust the feet so that the right foot points to the right. Inhale, extend to the right. Exhale, bend to come into triangle pose. Look up towards the left hand. Bring the left hand down. Adjust the left foot at 45 degrees. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold forward in pyramid pose. 
and release. Bring the left knee down. Inhale, extend both the arms up to come into Anjanayasana or low lunge. Exhale, bring them down. Open towards the left side to come into half squat. Bring the hands to heart center. Come to center for Malasana or the full squat. Keep the spine long. Come onto the left side for half squat. Move towards left and bring the right knee down. Inhale, extend both the arms up. Exhale, bring them down. Raise the right knee and bring the right foot at 45 degrees. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold forward to pyramid pose. And release. Adjust the right foot. Inhale, extend the right arm up to come into triangle pose. Keep the spine long and open the chest towards the ceiling, looking up towards the right thumb. Come up, bring the arms at shoulder level. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to come into goddess pose. Take a breath in and out here. Exhale, come up, step the left foot in, inhale, extend the arms up, exhale, bend to the left, inhale, center, exhale, bend to the right, inhale, center, bring the hands down and relax. Come to the center of the mat, open the feet wide to come into a wide-legged stance. Take the heels slightly out and bring the toes in. We are going to do a variation of Prasadita Padottanasana now. Take both the hands behind your hips and interlace the fingers. As you inhale, elongate the spine and extend the chest up. As you exhale, start folding forward from the hips, taking the hands away from the back. Keep breathing into the stretch in your hamstrings and calf muscles. Try to keep your weight forward, bringing the hands as close to the floor as possible. Keep the spine long. Keep extending the tailbone up towards the sky. One more deep breath. Slowly come up. And release the hands. We'll do this once more with a different variation. Bring the hands on the hips. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, start folding forward. Keeping the spine long. Once you're halfway down, bring the hands onto the mat, inhale, elongate the spine, exhale, fold all the way down. With every inhale, try to elongate your spine and with every exhale, fold a bit forward. Try to bring the crown of your head onto the mat, extending the tailbone towards the ceiling. Last breath, inhale, elongate, exhale, fold forward. Slowly come into half fold and come all the way up. Very good. Now adjust the feet so that the toes point out. Bring the arms to shoulder level. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, sink the hips down to come into goddess pose. Try to go as low as possible, making the thighs parallel to the floor. 
as you're comfortable here bring the left elbow onto the left thigh and as you inhale extend the right arm up to come into a side stretch come to center and let's do it on the other side exhale center inhale stretch to the left exhale center inhale stretch to the right center and come back up very good we'll do this one more time bring both the arms to shoulder level take a deep breath in and as you exhale sink the hips down this time bring both the hands onto the thighs and then push the left thigh out with the left hand to feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs let's stay for three two and one and let's do it for the other side push the right thigh out with the right hand keep sinking the hips down try to keep pushing the right shoulder forward and the left shoulder back come back to center exhale come up heel toe your feet in and relax just shake out the legs now we'll do a variation of padhastasana bring both the feet together and we'll first do the normal variation which is keeping the toes pointing forward as you inhale elongate the spine and as you exhale fold forward from the hips keeping the hips stacked over the ankles bring both the hands to the mat and look forward keeping the spine long and then as you exhale try to fold all the way down feeling a nice stretch behind both the legs inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward last time inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward extending tailbone towards the ceiling slowly come into half fold and then come all the way up now bring both the heels together so that you're forming a v with your feet keep the feet slightly away inhale elongate the spine exhale start folding forward keeping the back long bring the hands to the mat again inhale elongate exhale fold forward try to keep the hips stacked over the ankles inhale elongate exhale bend forward this time feeling a nice stretch on the outsides of the thighs and legs last time inhale elongate exhale fold forward slowly release and come up and now we'll reverse this so bring the toes together and the heels away from each other forming a reverse v inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward try to bring the hands onto the mat inhale extend exhale fold forward this time breathe into the stretch in the insides of your legs inhale elongate exhale fold forward last deep breath and then slowly roll up and relax very good now let's come down onto the mat now let's come back to tabletop position extend the left foot towards the left side so that it is in line with the right knee 
as you inhale extend the right arm up and as you exhale needle it under the left arm and bring the right shoulder onto the mat to come into a twist you can keep the left hand where it is or you can extend it forward and look up towards the ceiling and breathe into the stretch in your upper back try to keep the hips stacked over the knees let's stay here for three deep breaths bring the left hand back and come back and let's do it for the other side extend the right leg towards the right side inhale extend the left arm up exhale needle it under the right arm to come into a twist keep opening the chest towards the ceiling and breathe into the twist for three two and one bring the right arm back and come up from here bring the right knee forward close to the right hand and the right foot as close to the left hand as possible extend the left leg back to come into pigeon pose square your hips towards the right side and make sure that you are centered once you're comfortable here as you inhale extend both the arms up and bring them together overhead to come into a back bend take a deep breath in and out here slowly bring the hands down now you can stay here if the stretch is already good on the outside of the right thigh otherwise you can bring the elbows down if you want to go further you can bring the forehead down and come all the way down and let's take three deep breaths in pigeon pose or kapot asana breathe into the stretch in the outside of the right thigh and in front of the left quads one more deep breath bring the hands back and come up now we are going to do a twist here so bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist towards the right side bringing both the hands together in namaskar mudra at heart center let me show this to you from the other side so your right knee is forward bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist to the right keeping the spine long and bringing the hands at heart center and let's take three deep breaths here three two and one slowly release and come up then bring the left leg forward and again change sides bring the left leg forward and then grab the left big toe with the first two fingers of the right hand take a deep breath in and as you exhale extend the left leg straight out and twist onto the left side looking back towards the left hand keep the spine long breathing into the stretch in your left leg as well as 
experiencing that nice twist and slowly release and we are going to do this entire thing on the other side so come back to tabletop position bring the left knee forward and the right leg back to come into pigeon pose square your hips forward once you're comfortable inhale extend both the arms up to come into a back bend keep the spine long take breath in and out and then bring both the hands down find your variation come on to your elbows or come all the way down and let's relax and kapoot asana for three two and one bring the hands back and come up inhale and as you exhale bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee and then twist towards the left side keeping the spine long let's take three two and one slowly release and come up bring the right leg forward grab the right big toe with the left hand take a deep breath in and as you exhale extend the right leg up and twist towards the right side looking back at the right thumb let's stay for three two keep the spine long and one slowly release and relax now come into vajrasana and then keeping both the knees together start widening the feet and then sit back in the space between your feet to come into virasana now it's fine that if you're not able to sit completely between the feet it'll come with practice you should already feel a nice stretch in your ankles as well as your quads once you're comfortable here start reclining back taking support of your hands and come all the way down into supta virasana try to keep the knees together as close as possible once you're comfortable here you can bring both the arms up and grab the opposite elbows and let's stay here for three deep breaths breathe into the stretch in front of your thighs slowly release then again take a support of your elbows come up and extend both the feet forward now we are going to do supta kon asana which is similar to halasana so lie down on your back take a deep breath in and as you exhale bring the feet up to 90 degrees pull the navel in and close the gap between your lower back and the mat push the hips up taking support of the hands to come into halasana once you're comfortable here take both the hands up and grab the big toes with the hands and then walk both the feet out to come into supta konasana try to keep the hips straight towards the ceiling let's stay here for three two and one 
bring both the feet together, release the hands and then slowly bring the hips down with control and bring the feet down onto the mat. Very good. Let's do a counter pose for this, which is the fish pose or Matsyasana. So tuck the hands between the hips, taking support of the elbows, raise the head up, look towards the feet and then bring the crown of the head up to the mat to come into fish pose. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Again, push into the elbows and look towards the toes and then come all the way down and relax. Finally, bring both the knees in and grab the feet from the outside, keeping the elbows between the knees to come into happy baby pose. Keep pulling the feet down, keeping the shins perpendicular to the mat. And then let's roll side to side in happy baby pose. Bring both the feet together and then slowly release the legs and relax. Bring both the feet together. Take the hands overhead and interlace the fingers and then as you inhale, extend the entire body for a good stretch, making it as long as possible with the toes going towards one side of the room and the hands going on the opposite direction stretch and relax let's come to one side making a pillow with our arm and slowly roll up and come into a sitting position Come into an easy cross-legged sitting position. We'll end the practice with three ohm chants. Inhale. Bring the hands to heart center and let's start rubbing the palms to create heat in the palms. Slowly bring the hands to your eyelids and feel the healing heat of the palms through the eyelids. Bring the palms down and open your eyes. Hope you enjoy this practice. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.